Properties of Molecules, Melting and Boiling Point by kscience.com In this video, we're going to learn why simple molecular substances have low melting and boiling points. Water is a simple molecular substance, and its molecular formula is H2O. The atoms that make up this molecule are covalently bonded to each other. Covalent bonds are strong, so why does water have such a low melting and boiling point? This is a glass of water, which has been simplified to show the structural formulae of four water molecules. This is one water molecule. It's made up of two elements containing three atoms. This line between the hydrogen and oxygen atom represents a single covalent bond, which is very strong, which needs a lot of energy to break. Between simple molecular substances, there are weak forces between the molecules. When talking about these weak forces, it's really important you use the word between. This is so you can tell the examiner that these forces are between the molecules and not within the molecule. The weak force of attraction between two simple molecular substances has a special name. It is known as an intermolecular force. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's break down this word so you can actually remember it. The word inter means between. The word molecular means molecule. And the word force means pull in this case, as the molecules are being pulled in towards each other due to the weak force of attraction. So an intermolecular force is just a force between molecules. We now know intermolecular forces are weak. In this diagram, a Bunsen burner is heating liquid water. The blue circles represent water molecules. The heat causes the liquid water to evaporate into water vapour. The weak forces of attraction that were holding the water molecules together were broken by the heat, allowing the water molecules to rise up. Very little heat is needed to break these weak intermolecular forces between the molecules. Here is a structural formula of two water molecules. These are two distinct molecules where the lines represent single covalent bonds between the atoms. These lines represent the intermolecular forces between the molecules. They are very weak, so need little energy to break or overcome these forces. It is this reason that simple molecular substances, they all have low melting and boiling points. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is a classic exam question, which they love to ask in your exam. The question normally goes like, why is a blank molecule a gas at room temperature. And they will ask you about any simple molecular substance, such as chlorine, oxygen, carbon dioxide, or anything else. Or they could ask you why a simple molecular substance is a liquid at room temperature. If they did that, it would probably be water. Now pause to answer this question. Why is a chlorine molecule a gas at room temperature? If challenging, a writing frame will appear. If that's still challenging, then the first letter of each word will appear. And then the answers will follow. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.
And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.